and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited because I'm going to be reviewing with you an amazing wig that I've been after for such a long time and I've managed to get it better than half price, brand new from eBay. The gorgeous touch wig from Ellen Villa in the amazing colour that I haven't tried yet, Candy Blonde Rooted. Oh my goodness me, I'm so excited about this wig. Now, I've actually been wearing in this piece all day today. And in the last review video, I actually talked about this little piece I've got in. This is a secret scrunchie from Godiva's Secret Wigs. So I just wanted my hair up today. And I've been wearing this secret scrunchie all day. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to end the day trying on touch so I can actually take her upstairs and start wearing her properly. So I'm really excited about this wig. So touch wig from Ellen Villa in Candy Blonde Rooted. Now, whenever I get a wig now, because I've got so many wigs, I'm storing them with, you know, in the best storage place I can. But with them, you know, I'm not putting boxes on or I'm putting things in bags and I'm storing them properly. Otherwise, I've run out of space and I have wigs all around the house. I'd have them in the kitchen, the bathroom, they'd be everywhere. So whenever I get a wig now, and this one did come boxed because it was new with tags on, I just threw the box away, got a freezer bag, and wrote on what the wig is. So this is how I'm storing the wig. As you can see, vacuum pack like this. Now, all I've done with this wig so far is sew wig clips in. I haven't even tried it on. I've shook it out and looked at it and checked the colour out, but I haven't tried it on because I've been so excited to do this with you today. So let's have a look at the gorgeous touch by Ellen Villa. And, you know, I've wanted this for so long in this colour and I just dropped on, you know, it, it come up on, on eBay and I was like, oh, got a bid on that. And I was so lucky. I got this, I think I got it for £112 and I was the lucky bidder. There was quite a few bids on this, but she did start it quite cheap price and then it went up and up. And luckily I got the wig. So I was like, yes, I got the wig. So in the cap itself, we'll start with the cap. I've sewn two wig clips into this. And the reason why I've only sewn two, and even though this is a bit of a long wig, is because it's super light. Oh my goodness me. When I hold it with my little finger, it's so light. I know I'm going to really enjoy wearing this wig. And you've got the lace front as well. And you know, with it, is that called an extended lace front? I don't know, but it's got the lace front and it's got a mono part to give it the scalp effect as well. But you can see my thumb moving around there. And it's got a little bit of volume here, not much at all. It's very flat to the head when I'm connecting with it and feeling it. And it's got all the gorgeous breathable wefting to make it so light and airy and nice to wear, a joy to wear. And it's got the Velcro style adjusters to make the wig tighter or looser, as you can see to suit your own hat, okay? Now, I've sewn the wig clips in just to make it a better experience for me on my hair, but you can wear this without anything, with a wig grip band, with a wig cap, however you wanna wear this wig. But I've sewn two wig clips in right at the front there. So I'm excited to get her on. Now let's have a look at the color. This color, the reason I wanted to try this color is because I saw a wig review video for this color from Taz and she said it's super similar to Melted Marshmallow from René of Paris. And that's one of my favourite blondes. And I was like, wow. And in the Ellen Villa blonde, you know, I've tried the Sandy Blonde Rooted, but I haven't tried the Candy Blonde Rooted. And I'm really excited to try this today. So obviously very similar to Melted Marshmallow. It's got the gorgeous darker root. And then it goes into this gorgeous blonde and then it goes platinum tip on the end. So really, really nice. And look at the style. Love it. Just love it. It's got lots of movement. I'm excited to get her on. I can't believe I haven't tried her on yet. I'm so excited. So obviously I may need to mess around with the parting and have a little play with her because she's brand new. And I'm going to prep my hair. So I'm going to take out my secret scrunchie. Now I've just put this in with two bobby pins. One at the back and one at the top to secure it in. Take it out. That's it. If you're wondering what a secret scrunchie is from Godira's Secret Wigs, that's it there. And this one is in chocolate frost, really nice. So I'm going to take my scrunchie out and give my hair a little bit of a, you know, kind of move around just to free it up a little bit because I've been wearing it like that all day. And now I'm prepping for this wig. And the reason I'm wearing this wig is because I'm going out for, a, 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 I was going to say Costa, but I think I'm going for a Starbucks, but I'm going for a cheeky hot chocolate. 
and I want to wear a wig and I want to wear this wig. So I'm going to put my hair in ready for this wig. So I've got two bands. I'm still using two because, you know, even though it's growing, it's still a bit fly away. So I'm going to grab this bit of the hair and just put this into a little ponytail. I had earrings on as well earlier, but my ear, I don't know if you can see my left ear, is burning. Burning, because I've just done a reading over on Guided by Angels and my ear started burning. And that means left for love. Someone's thinking about you with love. These are the earrings I've had on today. Love these ones. And then I'm going to grab my little bands and just get rid of the bulk at the back there. So I really do like these Ellen Villa wigs as well. You know, I'm so grateful that I can try all these wigs from eBay. And it's really exciting because I've got some other ones coming from eBay because it's always great to keep your eye on eBay. Maybe you've thought, you know, well, maybe you've never thought about buying wigs on eBay before. But you really can get some bargains if you're very mindful and you use your own discernment and discretion about what you're buying because, you know, you've got to be a bit careful. Make sure you're going for wigs that look good on the pictures and look right on the pictures as well as the description. So, and get the right price, you know, because no point in paying a lot of money for one when you can get one brand new for £30 more or whatever. But this one was like £112 brand new, which is better than half price. It is here in the UK anyway. So I'm getting my thumbs where the label is. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there and I'm going to pull my head into the wig. So I'm just done clipping the wig clips I've sewn in there. I haven't sewn another one in. I'll see if it needs it. It probably won't because it's such a light wig. But I'm just pulling my head into the wig. I'm tucking in the back my ponytail, making sure it's flat at the back, grabbing the two ear tabs and aligning them, aligning them so it's on straight, flipping it up. So before I lift it up, woo, in my face, before I lift it up, look at the hairline here. I really love the Ellen Villain, Ella, Ella Villain, Ella Vill, Ellen Villa kind of, you know, lace fronts as well. I'm going to bring it up to my hairline about there. And, you know, I prefer on me a rooted blonde because obviously I've got dark hair, so it looks more natural on me. You know, I have reviewed blonde wigs without a root for you ladies who prefer that, but on me, they look more natural. And I just feel nice in them. And I'm just, honestly, I'm over the moon with this wig. This is probably one of the top buys of this year for me because I've wanted it for so long and I got it at such a bargain price and it's brand new and I'm like, yes. I think I would probably have bought this in whatever colour it was in, but I'm just so happy I got it in the colour that I would have bought it in because this is the colour I would have bought it in. Now, straight away, the cap feels nice. It's an average cap and it feels nice. It's not tight. It fits me lovely. It feels comfortable. It's light. It is synthetic hair and the hair feels very natural. And I'm touching the hair. So obviously we need to style her. So let's have a see what's going on there. I'm just going to use my fingers first of all. I'm going to keep my mouth shut a minute while I'm just messing with the hair. To play with the style. So how does she want to go? Obviously we know she's a left part in here. And I'm going to use my fingers to see what she wants to do. Where I want to part her. Let me just have a quick look in the mirror. Yeah, that looks very natural in the mirror there. The parting's very natural. The scalp effect as well. Remember, you know, my camera, for whatever reason, it's great at showing you the style and the colour. But for some reason, it doesn't really show up the parting very well. You know, when I'm looking in the mirror, I can see the scalp effect there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But it is there, okay? So again, I'm just playing with it because I also want it out of my face. So remember, these wigs react to body heat. You know, you just use a little bit of body heat to get the style out of the way and move it around where you want it. So I'm just taking a little bit of a moment. Remember, I haven't tried this wig on yet, so it's my first look with you. The first thing I notice is I really like the style. It's very pretty. It's just so light. Not quite sure where I'm going to part her, though. Not quite sure. Okay, let's try it a bit different. It feels better there, you know. Because I'm kind of a middle parting gal. You know, I kind of prefer hair out of my face than hair falling in my face. And it's really interesting, actually, because in this little preview of what's to come, there was two wigs on as well as this one. There was Drive by Ellen Villa. And obviously, I know that's a really popular style. 
and I know that so many of you would love to see me in that one. And that was also going in Candy Blonde Rooted. Now, I did bid on that one, but I lost the bid. And I wasn't that bothered because I bid on another one from Belle Tress called Double Shot. I think it's called Double Shot. And that's in, um, I can't remember what colour it said. I think it's in uh, a brown blonde colour. And when I was looking at the pictures, that one looked like it stayed out of your face a lot more than the drive wig, even though they're very similar. So I missed out, unfortunately, on the drive. And I know so many of you would have liked to see me in that one, but it may be a wig I buy in the future anyway. Maybe it'll come back on eBay again. But I wasn't disappointed, you know. I think if I missed out on this one, I would have been disappointed because I just kind of saw it and I thought, wow, that looks awesome. I want that wig and obviously I wanted it, it was on my list anyway to buy and I managed to get it quicker than I was going to get it. So let me get some water with my water spray and just, you know, free up them fibres a little bit with some water. It's already feeling nice. I think this is probably where I'll wear it. Obviously we're all different, not everyone would wear it this way, but I quite like it this way. So... And it is a little bit dark here today because it's night now and it's been lovely today. I'm just going to lift the blind up a bit so you can see with a bit more lighting. Because it's been really bright today, which you'll see on the other video when I wore the, scritty, the secret scrunchie. And now it's getting late. I mean, you know, it's nearly six o'clock now. So it's getting dark now. Well, not dark, but it's getting, you know, darker. It's getting a bit dark. Maybe we're going to have a bit of rain. I don't know. But... I'm really loving this one. Love it. So this is possibly I would wear it. You know, I would obviously look in the mirror, maybe adjust the part in a tiny bit more. But she's great. Gorgeous wig. So let's have a look in the mirror at the colour first of all. Look at that candy blonde rooted. Very, very similar to melted marshmallow. I feel like melted marshmallow is a little bit deeper. You know, this, when I'm looking at this, this has got like a white vibe to it. You know, when I'm connecting with it and looking at it. So I feel this is a bit lighter maybe than the Melted Marshmallow from Rene of Paris. But they're both great colours. It's a really nice, pretty blonde. Love the root on it as well. Really nice. So let's do a little turn. A little turn. I know there is an Alan Villa wig called Turn as well. I quite like, but this is Touch. Touch by Anne Villa, and she certainly touches something in me. So from the side, gorgeous. From the back, obviously, you know, all my ponytail is tucked in and flattened down. You can't tell it's a wig at all. Very, very natural. Lots of movement on this as well. And from the side, from the side. Again, look, she's falling in my face a little bit. So again, bit of body heat to move you know, the fibres out of the face. And I may, obviously I'm going out in this wig, so I'm going out for, you know, a hot chocolate in this, so I don't want it falling in my drink. So I may just put a little bobby pin in there, which I can do. You'll see how that looks, because, you know, obviously it is designed for off-face styling, because it's got the lace front. And with my natural bio hair being dark, it just goes very natural. Isn't this a beauty? Love it. So obviously I've enjoyed having my hair up today without a wig using my secret scrunchie. But it's always amazing when I put a wig on. Especially when I put blonde on because I just love blonde. I may change my top because I don't feel this top goes, you know, with what I'm wearing. I've got a little black cami top on underneath as well. I always feel blonde goes nice with white but maybe white without bits on. Um, it goes nice with pink, it goes nice with black and it goes nice with blue. But I suppose it goes nice with anything, really. It's about feeling confident in the wig. But what a gorgeous little style. And the fact that I got it from eBay cheaper, absolute bargain. Because I've seen this on some websites over £300, you know. So it depends where you buy it from. And that's a lot of money to spend on a wig, you know. So you've got to make sure that, you know, you want the right wig. So when you can get it from eBay, it's brilliant. So I'm excited. So again, soon I've got coming the... As I said, the Beltrass wig, double shot. I'm going to be reviewing that soon. And in the next video, I've got a gorgeous Alan Villa wig to show you. No, this is Alan Villa. I've got a gorgeous, start again, Liz, Raquel Welsh wig to show you. So watch this space. But this is Touch Wig from Alan Villa. 
in the gorgeous colour Candy Blonde Rooted. So I'm just going to put the blind down and you can have a look at it without the lighting there, a little bit different. But the lighting, you know, when I'm looking in the mirror and when I'm looking in the camera, it's the same. You know, this I've really, I mean, this is the natural setting of my tablet. I haven't like changed the, you know, the colouring or anything on the settings. I don't even really know how to do that. But, you know, this is the normal setting. And I find that it's, it's you know, very true to the colour. So when I'm looking in the mirror and when I'm looking on camera, it looks exactly the same. You know, and I really do like it. So I really am happy with this wig. So let me just take this little bobby pin out again. And you can see even just doing that, it's kind of, you know, push the style out of my face a little bit. Maybe you like it in the face. Maybe you'd part this a bit differently. But for me, this is absolutely perfect. And, you know, even just using the heat of my hands just to maybe put the, the hair down that way a little bit would also work. But gorgeous. But I think today for me, I'm going to wear it with a little bobby pin to go out for a hot chocolate and treat myself. So Ellen Villa Touch Wig in Candy Blonde Rooted. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.